What's up guys, Brian Lima from Cross Coast Gaming with a couple achievement guides. This first one is on the mission Manhunt, and it's called Sitting Ducks. And, All right, so uh, we're in campaign right now? Yeah, this is campaign, and this is honestly probably one of my favorite moments in like any Call of Duty campaign. I mean, to be honest, I haven't played the last couple of campaigns, but uh, this was super fun to do. You like take control of this little, it's called the Wasp, it's like this little drone thing, and you fly around this building. I didn't know people actually played campaign in Call of Duty. I know, but... It's pretty, it's, it's it's not bad, honestly. Like, I didn't play the last couple, like I said, because I didn't think they were that fun. But there's a lot of like cool moments in this one. This is one of those moments. So you have this drone here, and the achievement sitting ducks is you have to kill three people with one shot. You have like a sniper drone. And the so just easiest... kill those three nerds right there, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the, the only place you can really get it easily is this first group of three people right here. And I feel like a lot of people just kind of overshoot that, because you're not even supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in front of the gate. But and then the... just two people right there? Yeah, there's two it's gonna hit the, the guy up top there. Not yeah, these two right here. Oh, that it's gonna hit the dude in the balcony. Oh, yeah. you're sniping him. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like an airstrike. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you only have one shot at it too, because if you mess up, then you'll get alerted, and then you'll have to restart it again. Um, but that's the achievement. You need to get those three, and this whole drone sequence is about 20 minutes long. But uh, that's the easiest place to get it. So just don't who, fly past it. Who are it. those guys? Those are bad guys. I don't wanna spoil it. Here's where you're supposed to be, so just fly past that and do I mean, the everybody has some good and bad in them, Brian. I think it's kind of messed up. You just <laughs> shot three dudes in the head. All right, so the next achievement is on a mission called Sentinel, and it's called Party Crasher, and it's on the next mission after the one that we just saw. All right, uh, and you'll be mission. paired with Cormac and Knox. They're going to be your teammates for this. That's right. I didn't know you were such an expert on the campaign. Yeah, I'm a big lore fanatic. <laughs> so you have your grappling hook in this, which is this new, like, feature that they really push on you in the campaign and lots Why of Why don't we guys. have that in multiplayer? I don't know. That would have been a cool intro to multiplayer. But anyway, you grapple over to this dude's house and then he's having like a dinner party or why whatever. Are these, why are his guests glowing yellow? Well, what we have to do is grapple them in the bushes and then very politely. <laughs> I feel like that's not <laughs> physically possible. You just need a strong forearm, bro. You need to do this like All right, a bunch of sure times not. to make <laughs> The, the, the most unbelievable part, honestly, is that you can't be spotted by anyone, but no one seems to notice. As long as you're crouch walking, it's like you don't exist. You can just kind All of All right, so these guys, are, these guys are bad guys, too, that you can just murder? Because they seem to be just, like, nice people, like, playing a game of pool. Nah, if they're highlighted in yellow, that means they're bad guys. If they're blue, they're just, like, people you don't want to kill. So the only, like, issue is sometimes they get people close to each other, so you can't just, like, drag one in the bushes or you'll be noticed. So you kind of just need to wait for them to line up and then uh, take them out with a single shot if you can so they don't get notified of... Wrongdoing. What? You know what I mean. You can't have the guards alerted, so you can't just like take one in the bushes and have one yell something. You'd think at like bad guy training camp, they'd be like, all right, when you're guarding, make sure you don't line up your head like dominoes. <laughs> yeah, Maybe like pair differently, like heighted guys with each other. Yeah. Only happens a couple times you can do that. Most of your time is just spent highlighting the guys with your scopes. You can see through the bushes and then walk into the bushes and grappling them. So yeah, the achievement is pretty much just doing this a bunch, and the reason people might miss it is because you don't really need to kill all these guys. You only need to kill a few of them to get into the building, but in order for the achievement, you're going to walk around and assassinate a lot of people like this. Totally just ripping off, uh, what's that game? Just Cause 2. Oh yeah, that's right. They have the little, like, Spider-Man. Can you grapple hook, thing. like, random objects to yourself? Yeah, you can see the little left bumper icon, like, going around. Or you can't grapple it to yourself, but you can grapple, like, two areas, like in Just Cause. Why the hell wouldn't they have this in multiplayer? This is great. I know, it's pretty sweet. I hope that they like add some stuff to multiplayer. Maybe in the DLC. Did you hear that Just Cause 3 stuff was leaked? Is that true? It's coming out. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's still pretty sweet. I wonder if they'll include multiplayer since the guys at the mod did it in Just Cause 2. Yeah, they got to. Alright, so you just have to murder everyone in the party with a grappling hook? Yeah, pretty much. You get up to the upper part and then... I was surprised by how many people need to do because you really only need to kill three of them to get through the area. And the bodies are piling up in the bushes here. <laughs> the gardener's going to be really upset when he has to do his job. Yeah, I feel like you come home to that, you just got to quit. Probably. This is a two for one right here. What country are you supposed to be in? Uh, this is Thailand, I think? This is this American dude's house in like some other country. Spoiler alert. So after uh, doing that enough times, you'll get the achievement here. And that is the Party Crasher achievement. That seemed really long. I'm for sure never going to do that. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
You're welcome. Bye. Is this death? 